In this video, I'll be explaining L Opita rule in under the limit topic. And um, this rule is applicable when you have them. Um, when you have a limit that gives you an answer like 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, <clears throat> 0 multiplied by infinity, then infinity minus infinity. Now, let me solve a basic example for you. If we have a, <clears throat> if we substitute 1 in this place, this becomes 1 minus 1, and then this becomes 2 minus 2. So simply this is 0 over 0. Now, this means that we can't do it that way. Now, what L. Lopitaro says is if you have anything like this, you find the derivative of the, of the function individually. You don't, the, you don't find the derivative using maybe product rule or quotient rule. What you do is you find the derivative of the numerator individually and that of the denominator individually. So for this case, we have limit as s tends to 1. And uh, we have 2x over 2. Now, when you substitute 1 into this, what do we have? We have um, 2 all into brackets 1 over 2, and um, this is the same thing as 1. Note that um, if you have, if you find the derivative the first time and you still get 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, or any of those four, what you do again is you keep finding the derivative till you can get an answer. I will solve an example. I will solve such an example in this place. Now let's take for instance we have this. Now the first thing to do is this would um, find the LCM and then in this place this would be L x all into bracket exponential x minus one and um, this is the same thing as exponential x minus one minus what? minus x this will be minus x note that um, in this place if you put 1 over 0 this will be infinity this will be infinity minus infinity so we can't use this directly because 1 over 0 is infinity and then 1 exponential 0 is 1 it will be 1 minus 1 which will give you 0 and 1 over 0 is also infinity so you end up having infinity minus infinity now for this case <coughs> we have uh, this will give you zero and then um, when you put zero uh, you have one which one minus one will give us zero and for this case we will have zero over zero this will give us zero over zero so this means that uh, we need to find the first order and derivative so this is the same thing as limit as x tends to 0 and uh, this is the same thing as exponential x minus 1. Note that this, mi this minus 1 will leave and then uh, this minus x will turn to 1. And uh, if you don't know how to find derivative, you can check my other videos about derivative. Also for this side, we have um, x all into bracket. Uh, ex x raised to the power ex plus um, ex minus one. Everything will be plus ex minus one because if you find the derivative of this, this will be one, and this will remain the same. While the derivative of this, you will be left with this. Also, when you substitute zero into this, we still have zero over zero. In this case, we will still have. Um, 0 over 0 because 1 minus 1 will give you 0 and uh, 0 multiplied by 1 and then uh, 1 minus 1 so we we'll still have uh, 0 over 0 so this means we would find the different the, um, the derivative one more time x tends to 0 and uh, this will give us e to the power of x over this is the same thing as um, e x plus this is the same thing as x e x and um, plus what? Plus e x. So in this case, we're left with this. And then when we substitute exponential of x, limit will give you 1. And then this is also 1 plus 0. 
and then this is plus 1. So invariably our final answer will be 1 over 2 for this case. I would solve one last example which will be more complex, which will be more complex than what we just did now. And then it says when you have limits as x tends to infinity of root x, root x plus 1 minus root x. Now this will definitely give you infinity minus infinity. This will definitely give you infinity minus infinity initially. So what do we do? We will rationalize this function. And then what does it mean to rationalize? We multiply by the conjugate of the function. So we have x plus 1 minus root of x multiplied by root of x plus 1 plus root of x over root of x plus 1 plus root of x. Now in this case we will have limit as x tends to infinity. Um, this will turn to x plus 1 minus x over root x plus 1 plus root of x. Now what do we do in this case? We would find the first order derivative of this. Limit as x tends to infinity and then this we cancel this, this we cancel this. So you are left with 1 over root x plus 1 minus plus root x. And then this is the same thing as the 0 as your final answer. So thank you very much. You can check online for other examples and then you can send me some of your questions. I will solve and send back to you. Also, you can make a video request on the, in the comments box by telling me a math topic which I should address. Thank you very much.